So good afternoon, you're watching Sports Crazy. My name is Ankit and uh, today we have been joined by an expert, a guest of ours who is the General Manager of Gaming Laboratories International. So we're going to talk about the Indian gaming ecosystem and the world gaming ecosystem, the contribution that his company is making in the field of gaming. So I'm joined by none other than Mr. Devin Delbock. So thank you, Devin. Thank you for giving your precious time. Uh, and uh, it would be lovely learning from you. So thank you so much again uh, for saying yes to the interview. Thank you very much for the opportunity to join you. I uh, I look forward to the chat. Thank you. Sure, sure, sure. So, Devin, I, I would uh, definitely come and talk about the Gaming Laboratories International and your journey with Gaming Laboratories International. But first of all, I, would like, I want to know that how are you? Where are you right now? And can you just talk a little bit about your journey as a radio DJ host? Because when I was researching about you, I saw that you worked as a radio DJ host. So, can you just tell us about that? <laughs> Interesting question. <laughs> And yeah. um, uh, so, so thank you. I've um, I've always been interested in music. I've always loved music, and yeah. I do play some instruments as well. But likewise, I've had a fascination for radio uh, ever yeah. since I was a young child. And um, about twenty eight years ago, um, I got the opportunity to work on radio in South Africa. I worked for a radio station yeah. uh, in South Africa called Capital Radio Six Hundred Four, which no longer yeah. exists. And um, I did that part-time it was always a part-time thing for me for about uh, two or three years really loved it yeah. um and uh, and then gave it up um and about eight years ago i was again uh, approached to join a radio station in johannesburg called hot 102.7 fm um which i did so for the past eight years um i've been hosting the uh, the, the weekend breakfast show uh, on a sunday so it's completely, completely different to my daytime job. <laughs> it doesn't the two the two are completely different and, and don't intersect. But it's something I've really enjoyed doing. Um, I love the interaction with listeners, uh, and I just I love playing music. So uh, I get I get to do two things I love. Yeah. So can you uh, ever talk about like your possibly your move to gaming laboratories international when you? you decided that you want to join this company. Can you just talk about, about your initial days at GLI? So I've been with GLI for um, six and a half years now. Um, I've been in the gaming industry yeah. uh, for about 16 years. Yeah. Um, where I've worked for, for some of the big gaming suppliers. Yeah. Um, but my move to the game, to GLI six and a half years ago as the test laboratory um, was was really kind of spurred on by you know the interaction I'd had with the lab laboratory. Uh, as I said previously, I'd worked for yeah. suppliers to the gaming industry, where we'd been yeah. a customer of GLIs, um, and I was always intrigued yeah. in terms of the the laboratory's role within the gaming industry, within the gaming uh, ecosystem as such. Uh, so when the opportunity came along yeah. to to join GLI, it was uh, you know it was a, a, a really um, an opportunity which I embraced. Um, as I say, been there six and a half years now. My, I'm based in, in Johannesburg in South Africa, uh, yeah. looking after the, the GLI Africa region, um, yeah. based in Johannesburg. But more recently, in the past uh, year or so, um, I've yeah. also been given a remit to uh, develop the, the Indian market yeah. uh, from a gaming laboratories perspective. Yeah. Um, and, and hence, I'm in, South, in, in India at the moment. Um, this is... I was counting uh, earlier on today. This is my fifth trip to India in, in the past 12 months. So, oh. so you've been to uh, how many places in India? Like, uh, what are the places you have visited as, so, as of now? So, uh, Delhi is the yeah. primary um, primary destination for me. Yeah. Uh, and we've, you know, in the last few months, have set up GLI India as well as an entity in, in, uh, in India. Yeah. Um, and we've employed some people here as well. Yeah. Um, but outside of, of Delhi, um, I've been to Kolkata, yeah. I've been to Mumbai, yeah. and I've been to Goa. Uh, yeah. In fact, I'm going to Goa later this week for a conference that will be the third time in Goa in, in yeah. the past year. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Devan, can you just explain to our viewers, like, what is GLI, what does GLI do, and what is the vision of GLI in years to come? So GLI is a test laboratory for the gaming industry, yeah. right? We are not involved in the gaming industry from a, a, an operated perspective. We don't supply to the gaming industry in terms of equipment. Yeah. All that we do is a, a test laboratory to test and certify software and equipment yeah. in terms of the local jurisdictions and the local 
technical requirements. Okay, so GLI is um, accredited, or we work in 480 odd jurisdictions around the world. Uh, they all accept GLI certification. So these are markets where they are regulated. There are technical standards in place, and they require all gaming equipment to yeah. meet those technical requirements. That's yeah. where the gaming laboratory comes in. So we're completely independent. We test those products against the regulations for that specific jurisdiction. So we have to say we work for the regulators, but we work with our clients. So we're, we're in between. We're almost like the referee, if you like, on the field. You know, we don't we don't make the rules. We don't decide the outcome. Uh, what we're there to do is to make sure that the play is, is fair, right? Um, so as I said, we, we, we operate in over 480 regulated jurisdictions. Um, the company was formed in 1989 yeah. uh, in Lakewood, New Jersey, where our head office still yeah. is. But currently we have 26 different yeah. laboratories across six, uh, six continents. Yeah. Uh, and as I said earlier on, more recently uh, in India, where we've set up an entity as well to better service our existing clients yeah. in this market, yeah. because many of our very large uh, clients have development centers in India. Yeah. So the idea is to be closer to them geographically and work closer with them, but yeah. also to position ourselves for the upcoming uh, iGaming market or games of skill market yeah. in India yeah. uh, as that yeah. becomes regulated. Um, yeah. And we, you know, we are we're playing a role together with um, the government. Uh, we're working with the self-regulatory bodies, um, yeah. and you know, and all stakeholders in the industry in in this market to you know, yeah. to make sure that the market ultimately becomes a a, a well-regulated market, um, but ultimately, you know, a well-regulated market that is um, yeah. uh, the, where the integrity um, yeah. you know can be trusted from a player perspective um, yeah. and an operator perspective. Yeah. So Devin, I have a question that I really wanted to ask you is just that what do you th see India as a market? Like what, what is the potential of India as a market? When we talk about iGaming, when we talk about gaming in general, how do you see India as a market? Is it a growing market? Is, it that, is there something that we can do to make it uh, like it can compete at the world stage? So how do you see India as a market when it comes to iGaming as well as gaming in general? So I think you know, from a just from a revenue perspective, um, yeah. I see this as possibly one of the biggest iGaming markets going forward. You know, if yeah. you look at the population of India of over yeah. one point three billion people, uh, the uptake of, of mobile um, availability of uh, of connectivity, etc. You know, it's it's just um, a market that has so much potential. Yeah. Um, and, and again. Our market research shows us around about 400 companies um, yeah. either offering products online or developing products for other other operators um, yeah. in the iGaming space. So, so the market potential is is tremendous, which is one of the reasons that GLI, you know, wants to wants to be in this market as well. We we want to have uh, have a role in that market. Um, the challenges are, I think, is around the, the regulatory side. And certainly, from a Tesla perspective, the large operators, game providers that we speak to, um, all agree and embrace the idea of regulation. They all see the benefit to regulation. Um, and, and they are calling for that. And they certainly uh, are working with the self-regulatory bodies um, and, and are embracing that. I think the challenge that we have is... Um, there is no clear rules and regulations. And I know yeah. uh, the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, or METI, are, yeah. uh, have put out some draft regulations. Um, yeah. There's been some feedback um, from, from uh, the, the market. And I believe the, the next round of draft regulations will, will come out sometime in March. Yeah. But what we're seeing is that they are still fairly... Um, fairly wide open and this is lacks a lot of clarity um, and this you know this is where we're trying to play a role so we're trying to um, meet with um, with government um, uh, members and, and, and various stakeholders in government um, to help them understand um, what GLI has done for other jurisdictions so the two roles are part star business 
one is you know testing and certifying equipment yeah. but the other part of the business is working with regulators um, and advising and um, you know providing um, consultancy services in terms yeah. of drawing up things like technical standards drawing up yeah. regulations um, training of regulators you know from the vast experience we've got in those 480 jurisdictions you know we can certainly bring some of those best practices to market um, yeah. You know, we're not saying that you have to reinvent everything, but there are certain best practices from other uh, jurisdictions uh, yeah. that you know, potentially the Indian market could learn from. Uh, and yeah. again, you know, when, when we speak to the big operators, um, they, they're all keen to, to embrace that. I think uh, the challenge is that um, no one wants over-regulation. There's yeah. a fine line between regulation. Um, regulation is good. But when it's overregulated, it, it can you know it can be it can have a negative influence on the market. So it's finding that that fine line. Um, yeah. And I think the the other thing that is a little unclear at the moment in terms of the regulations is that while they do call for things like the random number generator to be tested tested by an independent body such as ourselves, uh, things like no bot certification, KYC, etc. Um, yeah. There's no clarity on who can you know who can do that testing. So, yeah. for instance, um, GLI are every lab that we have, um, yeah. three, six labs, are accredited under ISO 17025 accreditation, yeah. which means we're accredited to do testing and certification of, of equipment in terms of the ISO standards. Um, yeah. now, now, that's fairly important, and certainly all of the other test labs, uh, the big test labs, will have that accreditation as well. So, that gives... Um, comfort to the regulators or government it gives comfort to the self-regulatory bodies it gives mm -hmm. comfort to the operators and ultimately it gives comfort to the player right because yeah. the player knows that they're protected they're playing a game where yeah. the RNG is being certified by an independent yeah. body that itself is held, held accountable to ISO standards you know yeah. it's um, it's not you know it's not just some um, with all due respect you know Two, two guys on the corner of shop, you know, set up the lab saying we can test RNGs. So, yeah. <laughs> so I think that's very important. Um, yeah. that's, you know, that, that's a message that, um, a, again, the, the big operators um, and the self-regulation bodies uh, have agreed on as well. It's just taking yeah. that further and making sure that the, the testing is done by accredited to test labs. Yeah. So do you think awareness is also lacking in India? Like we can design some programs or we can design some pathways and we can uh, basically avail people about this eye gaming industry. Do you think the awareness part is also lacking in India, which can be channelized properly? Yeah, I think I think in terms of, um, you know, so right now, um, it's only games of skill that, uh, yeah. that are being, being considered, right? Uh, and that's a very, very big market in terms yeah. of, uh, as they refer to in India, real money gaming or RMGs. Yeah. Um, that's a, a very, very big market. Um, so part of part of our role, um, and GLI's role, is to do, is to work again with government departments and regulators and the industry in general, um, just in terms of education. You know, yeah. um, in fact. One of the things we do with regulators is we do a lot of training. Um, in fact, we have something called GLI University. Yeah. Um, we provide training to regulators and to their staff, uh, yeah. various aspects of gaming, you know, from slot machines in a land-based environment due to um, iGaming, eSports, um, yeah. cybersecurity, of course, which is another very, very big um, concern, especially in the iGaming yeah. market. You know, so how do we do that? And, and GLI... Uh, yeah. has a division within our company called Bulletproof, which specializes in, in cybersecurity and doing penetration testing and vulnerability assessments and, and, and helping gaming companies to, to be secure. And again, in many, uh, many of the jurisdictions that we operate in, it's actually a requirement that the yeah. operator has their website tested at least once a year um, in terms of cybersecurity, and, and that's certainly a service we do. But but education for, of the market is, is, is I think, a, 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 um, a very real thing, and it's certainly yeah. something that we've been talking about doing more, and, and I'm grateful for opportunities like this to give a, yeah. a, 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 um, an interview with Sports Crazy, because you know, through, uh, through interviews like this, yeah. we can help yeah. the public in general to understand yeah. the benefits of regulation, testing, certification, to know yeah. that when they play a game yeah. um, and on that operator's website, it says, yeah. you know, this product or this RNG has been tested by 
a test lab. It gives the player confidence in that game. Yeah, yeah. And from the regulatory perspective, um, they they can be secure in that knowledge as well. Yeah. So while I was researching, Devon, uh, first of all, thank you so much for beautiful insight because I have also learned a lot uh, during this interview. So I was researching uh, via a website. So I I understood a term called GLI certified mark. So if you could just explain to our viewers what is GLI certified mark. Yes, thank you. That's that's a good question. Um, yes. So many of uh, of our clients um, actually use the GLI certified mark on their websites or yes. when they you know trade shows on their marketing materials, etc. Yes. So what the GLI certified mark refers to is yes. a particular product that has yes. been tested and certified by GLI. Okay. Yes. So I mentioned earlier on regarding our ISO 17025 accreditation and the and the very strict quality control measures that we have in place uh, to meet the ISO standards. Part of that would be uh, the GLI uh, GLI certified mark, right? So if if a uh, let's let's use an example, if a um, an operator comes to us and we test the RNG, the random number generator, yeah, um, they could then apply to us. Uh, and we would go through a, a process with them um, yeah. where they they could then link that GLI certified mark to their RNG. So they could have it on their website. Um, they could have it on their marketing materials for their RNG. Um, they could have it, you know, displayed on their booths when they go to trade shows, etc. cetera. Um, and again, it's just giving comfort to their customers that yeah. you know, their products are tested and certified. Yeah. And 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 we're we're proud to work with them. Yeah. I just want to know that how optimistic are you? Because you have done a lot of meeting with stakeholders, with the government organization about uh, about just expanding the awareness of eye gaming in India. So, how optimistic are you uh, based on your meeting in India? And do you see the uh, changes coming in, in in the future based on your meeting? Uh, you you can just sense that there will be a regulation coming very soon. Like, how optimistic are you? I do. I, I am very optimistic. Um, certainly more optimistic. Optimistic than I was a year ago when I when I started yeah. uh, coming to, to or visiting India and, and having meetings. Um, we've yeah. seen the momentum gaining. Um, yeah. You know, there, as I said, there there are many um, very big companies in India offering yeah. games of skill online. Um, and and as I said again, you know, these companies understand the, the benefits of regulation and, and certainly embracing regulation. Yeah. Um, and there are many smaller companies starting up, which you know, which will become bigger companies as well. So, so I certainly see the the momentum uh, certainly is gaining. Yeah. Um, we've we've had very positive discussions even this week um, with certain ministries here in in, in India. Yeah. Um, I think everyone is is on board, um, and uh, you know, I, I think the, the gaming is happening, right? Uh, it's, it's happening at the moment anyway. Yeah. Many, many, many uh, companies have games of skill online. Yeah. Um, whether that will expand to games of chance, I don't know. Um, yeah. But certainly, game of skill market, the, the yeah. RNG space, is, is a very big space. Yeah. Um, and, and I think, I think we'll see some positive changes um, within the next uh, twelve to eighteen months. Yeah, yeah. Then just last, I want to uh, just know your thought process, your message to our viewers, sports crazy viewers who follow us and who are basically passionate about all kind of games. So, any message uh, for them, and any message for i gaming industry in general, uh, for the customers or for the client in India, anything that you want to say at last. Thank you. Yeah, I think the, I think the i gaming space is is a very very exciting space. You know, yeah. GLI deals with all sorts of gaming products from land based to sports betting systems to lottery systems and of course iGaming um, and we saw a prolific rise in iGaming uh, throughout the, the pandemic uh, as of early 2020 um, with lockdowns around, around the world uh, we saw many many more companies come to market uh, and we've seen a big consolidation in the market where some of the bigger companies are buying up smaller companies yeah. and becoming even bigger <laughs> so um so it's a tremendously exciting market yeah. um, from a global perspective. 